The papers scream it's a political crisis, but the French government reshuffle is a bid by the president to fire his outspoken critics and restore order among his ruling socialists. It comes after Hollande lost patience with the country's economy minister, who refused to support austerity. Today the world is pressing us, begging us even, to stop these absurd austerity policies that contribute to pushing the eurozone into recession and soon into deflation. The new government lineup is much the same as before, except it doesn't include critics like Arnold Montsberg and his left-wing backers. Instead, the economy post goes to Hollande's ally, former banker Emmanuel Macron, and education goes to former women's minister Najat Baloud Belkacem. Monsieur Emmanuel Macron. Mr. Emmanuel Macron, Minister of Economy, Industry and Digital Technology. President Hollande will now be hoping for calm after this stormy second reshuffle in just five months. But his new ministers will have to tread carefully between cutting the deficit and alienating already disgruntled voters. I think the question is whether they have the capacity to convince the general public, to convince the poorest, the people who suffer, who hesitate between voting for the left or for some the National Front. What words will they find for them? The crisis comes as France struggles with stubbornly slow growth and record high unemployment. President Hollande hopes his new cabinet will revive the flagging economy and boost his plummeting popularity, which stands at just 17%.